Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing various data types used in PLC programming. Here is the outline of my presentation. I will start from the Boolean data type, also termed as bit. Then we will move on towards byte, the conversion from binary to decimal, word, real, and data type. Well, the most basic data type is bit, that is boolean or a single binary digit that has either zero or one state suppose we have interfaced a sensor or a switch to our plc di channel and if this switch is closed the 24 volt will be synced to digital input channel of the plc so the plc will receive a 24 volt signal at this specific channel so the PLC will represent this 24 volt channel as 1 or pi or true. Normally we represent it as 1. And if this switch is not closed, then no voltage is flowing that is 0 volt and 0 volt would be represented as 0. Plus 24 volt would be represented as one this is the simplest data type used in plc programming also we have push buttons and other digital sensors for example a proximity sensor if it is sensing any or any metal it will send plus 24 volt to plc and the plc will treat this 24 volt as one in programming and if no voltage is synced to the plc then the plc will treat this signal as zero in programming so zero one this is the boolean and a single binary digit this is the simplest data type used in plc programming the digital input and digital output signals are represented by this bit. Well, this is the snapshot of a PLC program. You can see the normally open contact is looking for M0.0, .0, which is a digital signal in this case, and it is setting in another digital output signal, which is M0.1 in this case. So this is how we treat Boolean signals in a PLC program. M0.0 .0 in this case is high or it has one value, Boolean value. And M0.1 in this case is I2. It has one value. This is how digital signals are manipulated in a PLC program. Well, the combination of 8 bits constitute a byte. If we write 8 bits like this, well, collectively these 8 bits will form a byte. And if I want to convert this byte value to a decimal value, I simply have to add 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So 128 plus 16 plus 1. So if I add 128 with 17, that is so 145 is the decimal representation of this byte. How I did that, let me explain to you guys. So to convert binary to decimal, here is a shortcut method. Write any binary number. Suppose I have a number like this, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So the shortcut method is first you write one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four 
128 and 256. How you get this, these numbers? You simply multiply each number with 2 and you will get the next number. Similarly, you multiply 2 with 4, 8, 16, and so on. Now, those corresponding binary values are high. You simply multiply them with the upper value. So 1 cross 1, you get 1. 8 cross 1, you get 8. 16 cross 1, you get 16. 32 cross 1, you get 32. Ignore zeros. And 256 cross 1, you get 256. You simply add all these numbers. Well, and you will get the final decimal representation of this binary number. So 32 plus, plus 8, 40, 56, 57, and 256 plus 57. So this is how you convert a long binary number to decimal. Well, Word is another data type used in PLC programming. 16 bits constitute a word. 16 bits, uh, for example, 1001, so here we have 16 bits and this is one word. Normally in PLCs, the analog input and analog output signals are represented in the form of words. For example, we have thermocouple and that thermocouple sensor has been interfaced with our PLC analog input card. So Whatever the milliamperes are coming from the sensors to the PLC analog input channel, the PLC will transform the 4 to 20 milliampere DC signal to a word, or in other words, to 16 bit value. And those 16 bits can further be manipulated in our PLC program. Similarly, if we have a device, for example, a variable frequency drive, and the frequency set point that the PLC is going to send through the analog output channel, well, that is in the form of 4 to 20 milliampere, but how this 4 to 20 milliampere is specified? Well, in the PLC program, 16 bit value is processed and finalized to send it to the VFD as a frequency set point. So inside the PLC program, the frequency set point that is going to send the VFT is in the form of 16 bit binary value, or it is in the form of a word, and then it is processed, converted to 4 to 20 milliampere on the output channel, analog output channel of the PLC, and sent as a frequency set point. So the analog values in a PLC program that we are taking from the devices like thermocouple or we are sending a 4 to 20 milliampere to the various devices such as a frequency set point well all these devices values are represented as 16 bits binary value integer normally integer value range from 0 to 65535 and it's also formed by 16 bits and these 16 bits are then represented as decimal value and you can refer back to the previous slide how we convert the 16-bit value to the decimal value so integer is also one of the plc data types well double word 
well two words that is equivalent to 32 bits 32 bits form a double word so the real value which if you want to extend its range then we will definitely have to increase the number of bits and this is how a real value or a floating point number is represented by a 32-bit binary value if we want to further increase the capacity of floating point number then we can also have long float which is the 64-bit binary value which has 64-bit binary representation so that is long float that is also one of the plc data types although it's very rarely used but still it is in the plc data type list date and time has 64 bits resolution the least significant first byte has information about the year the next byte has information about the month the next has information about day and so on so forth so each byte in the date and time plc data type has information about the year month day hour minute second and even weekday for example saturday sunday monday i also have a video about how to convert date in time to the meaningful information of year month day hour minute second and even week weekday so please watch that video if you want to know about that there are some other data types as well for example string character arrays but we will discuss it in future videos if we felt the necessity of that but so far and so forth the basic plc data types that we discussed in this video are bit byte word integer double word in date in time so if you have any question about it you can ask me in the comment section Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.